President of uh, President of Bounty Agro Ventures for the past 25 years. No, I started here in 2002. Who told me 25 years? Okay. I was assigned in Kalubang during my beautiful time. Nakita naman ng industry yun na lumalaki na yung production ng sugar outside the Philippines. Yes. So sugar is a commodity. When supply goes up, yes. the prices will go down. Yes. Siguro, ito, generations na ng mga sindero. Paano hindi nila pinansin yun? Lilipas to, nalugi sila, di ba? Why don't... Well, I, I find that in other industries also, you know? We, we kind of like stay put with where we are. Yes. They cannot accept the fact. Yes. Na, in denial. Oh, in denial talaga. And to the point, makita mo yung point, lalo sa negros, di ba? Yes. Ito, mga billionaires in the past, na they waited for the time that they went bankrupt. Oh, for God. close lahat ng properties. Oh, man. Kasi sa negros, mas malungkot. Yes. Socialized there. Some of them turned prostitutes to oh. maintain their lifestyle. Oh. Terrible. Yung doon sa Kanlubang, very close sa akin, sa Kita Gong. Yeah. Sabi ko, ang mga yulo napaka, they're so landed, they're yes. so wealthy. Yeah. Yeah. Yung mga farms namin sa Pure Foods na binay, we're for close properties from the U.S. Oh, I see. So sabi ko, hindi dapat mangyari. I talk to the owners. Sabi ko... Of, so, of Bounty Agro. Oh, you're, ko, you're, you're, you saw already that there's gonna be like a tidal wave coming in. Sabi ko, let's preserve your wealth. Yes. Yung poultry may not be isa sunset industry. Yes. So let's not wait for the time na whatever we earned the past so many years. Yeah. We just go down the drain. Amazing foresight. Let's invest in other industries. Now wow. we should be able to walk away yeah. in a position to walk away from this industry anytime. Woo. So, ano nga gawin natin? So, yun yung panahon natin. Let's try yung... Kasi we put up our own rotisserie stores. Yeah. Kasi kung at the time, ang calculation namin, we need 1,000 stores to completely replace yung income stream from oh, the gosh. integration. Wow. So, wala namang rotisserie chain na 1,000 yeah. sa Pilipinas. None. And dogs, about 200, Ooh. 100 plus. But at least yun, on, on paper, yan yung equivalent yan. Wow. If we walk away from this industry tomorrow, pag may 1,000 stores natin, tuloy yung income stream natin. Oh, gosh. Okay, sige. That's amazing. Uh, let's try. 
Pilot namin, 10 stores. Failure talaga. Uh, 10 stores lahat sa Visayas. Uh, Hindi namin magamit ang brand namin. Yes. Because we will be competing with our customers. Uh, so, tinago namin oh, yan. Nga, no? oh, oh, yeah. so, lahat ng mga managers namin, executive, didn't like, like that idea. Oh. Diba boss? Nakalaban <laughs> na natin yung yeah. customer natin. Yeah. Sabi ko, look at this this way. Nasaan ang loyalty ng customer natin? Pag may murang manok from Thailand, Malaysia, or whatever, yes. will they be loyal to us? No. They won't. They no. will be loyal to price. Yes. So, if we want to preserve yung ating livelihood, you better cooperate. So, wow. tinago, may manok. Go. Ten stores yan, ha? Rojas, Ilo. Basta Visayas. Yes. Olod, Cebu, Tacloban, Ormo. All in all, trial namin two months. November 2007, we started. November, December, you name pick it. Yes. Of the industry. So by January, we evaluated. Evaluate Eight out of ten stores. Failed. Ah, failed. <laughs> eh. Ang break even was about 30 heads. Yeah. To break even, less than 10 heads. Oh, ten gosh. So, ang conclusion. Yeah. Ayo talaga ng Pilipino ng one siguro. Oven roasted. They wanted charcoal green. So that was the initial. Yeah, yeah. Conclusion, but second, ten solution in Nikot, January in Look at exactly what's happening. Yeah. But there were two stores now, okay? Yes. Ormok and Tacloban. That's okay. right. But hindi lang siya okay, ah. Talagang overwhelmingly wow. successful. Wow. Wow. Hindi mo wala ka pang nakita dito na Ruti City store. Na ang haba ng pila every day. Ah. Yung pumipila, either pipick up. Yes. O kaya magbabayad siya. Yes. One day advance. Ooh. Kasi lahat nung lulutuin for the day, yeah. bayad na yan the previous day. Oh my gosh. Ormo so, ang takloban, gano'n ang situation. So, laki ng disparity. Yeah. Why is this? Working. Oh, it, the uh, others are not. Design, the same. Templa, everything was the same. Tinikman ko, sabi ko, napakasap nung manok natin dito. <laughs> sabi ko, ang diferensya. <laughs> No wonder na pinipilahan talaga ng mga tao. So, nung gabi, I checked the plant operation, processing plant. So, I go through. Oh, sige. Pagdating namin sa marination, sabi ng manager, boss, boss, sorry boss, ha, meron kami pinano dito. Ayun. We skip one step. Oh. Sabi ko, eh, ba't hindi kayo nagpaalam? <laughs> eh, tingnan nyo na lang. Kasi pag nag, yung marination procedure yeah. namin, May spice mix. Yes. Lagay mo ng tubig. Yes. Ihalo mo sa manok para ma-absorb. Lagay sa vacuum tumbler. But ang nangyayari, after sa vacuum tumbler, suppose isakin niya yung one, yes. balde-balde yung tinatapon namin yung hindi na-absorb. Oh. Sa takloban na normal, ang ginawa ng manager mo, hindi na namin nilagyan ng tubig. Oh. So, spice mix, manually, nilarab wow. sa manok. Wow! That's it! Tapos nilagay nila sa vacuum tumbler. Yes. Pag katapos ng tumbling, mayroon pa rin yung natatapon. Mayroon pa rin, oo. Uh -oh. tabo na lang. Imagine, oh, balde. Yes. My goodness, oh, that, fall, that night, you know, yeah. ng mga... Do the same. Oo, oh, sabi niya. Just keep on in that process. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Kuha na yung sales doon. So by mid-2008, January ako nag-audit. We have a winning for them. Oh my yes, God! As fast as we can. Woo! And you did. Oh, yeah. I, I I love that story because then you have a number one foresight. You saw that you know the industry is going to change, uh, import liberalization. So chickens will come at a cheaper price. You knew that. I love when you say sunset industry, chicken. You know, for for someone to recognize that to say we are in a decline, this industry is going. We need to do something. So your your ability to to do that. 10, 10 stores, eight failed. Um, I also like how how that uh, how that guy in Ormok and Tacloban. Tacloban, he had the audacity yes. to, 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 to without even it. asking permission from you. Yeah. Maybe he trusted you. Yeah. Maybe he knew you. He said, "Hindi magagalit si boss, magexperimento ako." Possible. Yeah, and he did, and you you made it happen. He's still there. He's not the. Branch manager of Cebu. <laughs> <laughs> Yung reward. Kasi from Cebu, Zen. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wonderful. And so from 10 stores, you change the, the, what they call that, the process of making a chicken. And then how, how many years to, to, to hit a thousand stores? Well, probably by 2008, we're almost 100 by the end of the year. Wow. 2009, our second year, we were the market leader. Oh, wow. Parang nasa 2009. I think nasa 500 stores kagat kami na. <laughs> we were opening practically one store a day. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Thank you for this little conversation. I learned so much. Wonderful. <laughs> I know I'll learn more in, uh, in March when we meet for the Wealth Summit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. What time is it now? 11. 11, 11. Yeah, Facebook time. Live. Facebook Live? Crazy. Unbelievable. So we're, we're having Ronald, uh, the president of uh, Bounty Agro Ventures, the, the owner of uh, Chooks to Go and, uh, and so many others. Uh, they're, we're, we're getting him and he's going he's gonna to be with me. I'm going to interview him. We're, I'm going to pick his brains even more for the Wealth Summit in March 3, 4, and 5 in PICC. It's going to be an amazing time. And uh, if you're an entrepreneur, you want to build your business more, you've got to go there. Wealth Summit, March 3, 4, and 5. For more information, go to www.trulyrichclub.com slash Wealth Summit. Oh, why don't you talk about your new web series? Oh, yeah. Um, we're also going to feature a part of this interview for uh, Hashtag Backstage. Hashtag Backstage is our new web series. We're bringing it out also on Facebook and as well as in YouTube. Uh, stick around and find out more about it. It's going to be awesome. Mr. Ronald, do you have any message to any young entrepreneurs that want to start a new business? See you. See you. See you. See you. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. See you guys. Here. For giving us time. Yeah, yeah. Another. We're getting hundreds of comments. I love chooks to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we have uh, 1.8 million followers in Facebook. So, whenever every time we do a Facebook live, thousands. Uh, Maybe. You're the one thing that's always been